Miracles of St. Anthony Sermon to the Fishes A saint traveled to the city of Rimini. The saint's name was St. Anthony. He was there to give a speech, but most people were out of reach. Not many showed up to hear him speak. Not many were there to praise or critique. The people that turned up mocked and teased. They were not happy or at all pleased. They did not believe one single word and pretended that they had not heard. St. Anthony as he tried to pray and preach and the word of God that he tried to teach. Everywhere he went within the city, he was met with silence and often pity. St. Anthony walked away to reflect why the people had chosen to reject. The word of God of which he spoke and why they treated him as a joke. He came upon the Marecchia River and watched the water ripple and quiver. The people would not listen to him speak. Maybe the fish will be the crowd I seek. St. Anthony said from the river's bank, as with the people he had drawn a blank. So with a deep breath, St. Anthony spoke to the fish. Please listen to the words of God, hear my wish. Thousands of fish appeared in the water so clear, with their heads out of the water waiting to hear. The fish were all in a neat little row, a tidy line. This was surely a gift from God, a sign. They listened to St. Anthony's every word, and some of the people also watched and heard. The people listened and watched the miracle, as St. Anthony's words were quite lyrical. After his prayers and speech to the fish, the saint did indeed experience his wish. The people of Rimini, who did not believe, saw that St. Anthony did not deceive. Their minds were changed and prayer was found. All the non-believers had come around. Hello viewers, sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to take a moment to request you to pray for us and donate if you can. If you can donate just $5, Christian Kids TV can keep making more videos like this. If you are not in a position to donate, then do pray for us. In fact, prayer support is very important to our mission. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the video. Aliardino's Glass In the Italian city of Padua, a brave knight arrived one day in the broad daylight. Aliardino del Salvadera was the knight's name. When he sat down to eat, other people came. The knight never believed in the Catholic way, not believing at all in any religious day. He thought Catholics were ignorant and easily led. The Catholics are always so gullible, he said. His table mates looked at him with a stare and couldn't understand why the knight didn't care. How could he be so ill-mannered and impolite? They thought perhaps it was just an oversight. You must have heard about the good saint who performs miracles that will make you faint. Everybody's talking about this good man who works with his miracles without a plan. Aliardino <laughs> laughed and asked with a big sigh, Can you confirm these miracles? Can you clarify? The men shook their heads in such dismay as they looked down at the table and looked away. So you have no proof, no way to convince me, no good saint or miracles to see. Then I must think of a way, a plan, to watch this saint, this very good man. The brave knight drank his wine quick and fast. It seemed in silence that so much time passed. Then Aliardino stood and suddenly spoke. I have a way to see that your saint is no joke. All the men looked up and stared at the knight as he now stood up with all his height. I will throw my empty glass on the hard floor and see if a miracle happens. That's all I ask for. 
He continued, If I throw my glass and it does not break, then maybe your word I will accept and take. See if your saint can save the glass on the hard floor. I ask nothing harder and nothing more. Aliardino threw the glass with all of his might, with all the strength of a very brave knight. The glass did not break or shatter or crack as it hit the hard floor with a loud smack. Aliardino could not believe his eyes as he looked at the glass in total surprise. The hard tiled floor had broken instead as the brave knight stood with his hands on his head. From that day forward, Aliardino believed and could not doubt the miracle he had received. Now the brave knight was a Catholic man and said, I must spread the word as much as I can. <laughs> Christian Kids TV would like to thank you, our supporters, for making it possible to produce four new videos in the month of February. We would also love to take a moment to celebrate the 27 new supporters on Patreon who have joined our family. We now have a total of 288 patrons supporting our mission. We are now more than halfway to our 500 patrons goal. This is such exciting news. Like we said before, once we reach our goal of 500 Patreon supporters, we will be releasing the full-length film, Our Lady of Lord. If you would like to become a patron, or would like more information about becoming a patron, please visit patreon.com slash christiankids. There are different giving tiers to choose from making it easy for anyone to join, starting from as low as $2. Thank you again to all our wonderful supporters. We couldn't do this without you. The Heretic's Mule A city in France with the name of Toulouse is where many people did deny and refuse to believe in the Catholic way at all. Their disbelief they would shout and call. St. Anthony tried to convince them and say, Please, good people, believe and pray. But they did not want to listen to his speech or pay attention to the saint preach. A man said, If you can make my mule bow down, then perhaps we will look at you without a frown. Prove to us that the body of Christ does exist, and your Catholic word we will not resist. So for three days an agreement was made, and St. Anthony hoped, and he prayed. The man's mule had no food to consume, and was kept in a stable penned in a room. On the very last day of one, two, and three, a crowd of people did gather to see whether St. Anthony could make the mule bow. The people asked, Will he bow here and now? The mule's owner stood to one side with the mule's food which he had supplied. St. Anthony stood with a goblet in his hand and said, This is the sacrament from a holy land. From this goblet believers drink wine and see this is a religious sign. They believe it to be the blood of Christ and to him their sins they sacrifice. The people stood in silence and stared. Nobody uttered a sound. Nobody dared. Would the mule go to the left or right? They waited to behold the sight. The mule stood with its long ears upright. And then, much to St. Anthony's delight, it walked toward him and bowed its head. It's true. We now believe, the people said. <laughs> <laughs> 